Could you talk a little bit more about the idea of a debt mindset an entrepreneur's debt mindset and how that impacts them and what they can do about it? Yeah. I mean, so often, especially for businesses or business owners that are starting out, I often get the question of like, how much is too much debt? And, you know, a lot of, especially on the on, in the online world, there's a lot of courses that people are investing in. And I air quote that because you don't need everything at once. You know, it's so tempting to spend all that money in the beginning. In the beginning, you have your largest cash outlays. So if you are in this, you know, idea and, and believe me, it's spoken. I hear it all the time. People are like, well, if it's, if it was that important to you, you'd find the money, you know, they, they guilt you and manipulate you into getting your dollars. So you need to take a step back from all of this and say, whoa, wait a minute. Am I focusing on the things I need to focus on? Because the first thing you need to focus on is getting sales in the door. That's very simple because you need to make money. That's the purpose of business. The second thing you need to do manage that money that you've got in your business. So invest in the important things that are going to help you with your sales. That's it. Just sales. And then you can start investing in the other, you know, shiny objects or what have you when you're in a more comfortable financial position. I love that so much. One of the first little business, that was like basically the first business lesson I ever learned. Cause my dad's an entrepreneur and he started his business when I was 13 years old. And I remember when he wanted, you know, he started the business in our dining room, take our dining room and turned it into a home office. And he wanted to buy a new office chair. And my mom said, you don't need a new chair. You need a client. <laughs> Yep. And it's like, I just, <laughs> yeah, cause it's like, but if I have this nice chair and if I have this, it's like, nope, you need sales. Like really look at what are you spending money on? Is it producing a return? Is it going to help you get sales? Yeah. I yeah. love it. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for listening to today's episode of Monetize the Mic. If you want to get booked on podcasts and learn how to monetize the mic without the hassle or the hustle of doing it yourself, then we invite you to apply for our free Monetize the Mic three-part framework training. This special advanced training is available by application only, and it is the only place where we share our proprietary three-part framework for how to monetize podcast interviews in your business. Go to monetizethemictraining.com to apply for access to this training. Again, go to monetizethemictraining.com.